Hello and welcome to Southbridge. Today you will learn how to send an SMS message using Node.js and the SIM 800C GSM module. So first I will show you what is the GSM module that I'm going to use in this tutorial. So now, in our text editor, in the Visual Studio Code, uh, let's create our JavaScript file. I will call it main.js. So first is, I will just check if this JavaScript will print a text. So... I will type sending an SMS. So I will start a new terminal and I will run this JavaScript file main.js. So as you can see, it displays the message sending an SMS. So I will just delete this. Okay. So I'm going to use the node serial port dash gsm library or module, whatever you call it. So this library enables us to send and receive messages from a gsm modem. So, let us install this. So, to install this, we just have to copy this command and paste it in our terminal. So, we will have to wait for this. It may take some time. So, it is now installed in our project. So, let's go back to the documentation. And we will require this module. Uh, let me replace this const. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we have to declare our modem variable. And let me just copy all this code here. Okay. So we can change these properties according to the to the specifications of our GSM module. So our GSM module has the nine. So instead of one one five two hundred, we will just use the nine six zero zero. And then we will supply the name of our com. So to see what com we are using, what what serial port we are going to use, let us check our device manager. So just find your de device manager and go to ports. And then you will see USB serial CH340 COM5. So we will type the COM5 here. And then this parameter is the options. 
and then the optional callback so it's optional we just supply a blank object okay so this library allows allows us to initialize the modem upon opening it so let's go back to the documentation and let's copy the code this code the on open code so so this code will run upon opening the modem so what I'm going to do is I have to initialize the modem so let's find the initialize code here in the documentation so here it is initialize modem so in this event I will supply a function callback function so inside the initialize modem event I will display um, I will display a message so modem is initialized and then I will put the send function send SMS so let's try to copy the send SMS okay so the first parameter is that we will have to supply the, the number of the recipient of our SMS message and then our message hello there I'm uh, I'm sending from GSM modem so I will put my number here so the number I am using here uses the international country code so you have to change this according to your country code and then this callback parameter I will supply a callback function so what I'm gonna do is to print the result console.log so there is another way to print the sending status of this send sms function so let us try to find it in the documentation uh, wait on sending message so let's copy this one so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to print out the 
status okay let's save our project uh, so now let us try to run our project let us type node main dot js so as you can see there is a message here in uh, object form uh, modem is initialized so this is our message here after we have initialized the modem and this object is sending us a message of status success and successfully sent to message queue so let's try to see so you can never mind this <laughs> message here it is the 80 commands so the modem will run these commands behind the scenes so that we don't have to deal with it so here is another message from our modem so status is sending sending sms and the message is message currently sending and then the last message we've got is the message successfully sent so you can check the recipient's phone if you received the message so that's it that's how simple it is to send an SMS message from Node.js using the GSM module SIM 800C. So you can try another brand of GSM module or GSM modem. And you can try to change the values here according to the specification of your GSM modem. So that's it. I hope you learned something today. Thanks.